So I finally got my ass out of bed early enough to come to Cars and Coffee. And it's not even Cars and Coffee today, it's motorcycles and coffee. So let's go take a look at the bikes. It's really fitting that they're having motorcycle day today because earlier this week was Sturgis. Jesus Christ, is that a motorcycle with an inline six? I'm not much of a motorcycle guy, but I do know that today is a beautiful day for riding. are we looking at here? We are looking at an uh, XG750 Harley Davidson Street. Okay. Dude, are you filming? Yeah. Is that cool? Hey, Hi. what's up? I'm Logan from PDX Speed Shop. Logan, Hi. good to yeah. meet you. Good I'm Zach. You. Hi, Zach. Good to meet you. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about it. So yeah. Harley Davidson released the uh, Street 750 and 500. Uh, and um, it was a motorcycle that was meant to uh, appeal to people that are commuting back and forth from work or from school or what have you. But also wanted something that was a little bit smaller in displacement, you know. Okay. Um, so it's a little more economical. Yeah. And, you know, a little more uh, around town bike. And this is not what they look like stock. So both of these bikes, uh, we built these down at uh, PDX Speed Shop down in the Pearl District. Okay. And, um, you know, so we've done uh, custom paint on the black one. Drag bars, bar and mirrors, custom wheels. Okay. Um, new shocks in the back. You know, so the modifications are, they're not incredibly super expensive, but it's just to show what you can do to these bikes. Yeah, because there's so much personalization, especially on Harleys. I know there's a huge culture just around the customization and, you know, it's little easy things to tweak that really make the bike the right or something. That is absolutely true, Zach. Absolutely true. So this bike, the blue one over here, is a 750 as well. Okay. This belongs to Hal. This is Hal's bike? Yeah. Good to meet you, Hal. Nice bike. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> so and you can see just little differences. So, um, you know, Hal's got Clubman bars on there as opposed to the drag bars. Okay. We did the, we did his bike as well down at PDX Speed Shop. And then also chain conversion on the belt, on the drive. Okay. As opposed to belt, which this is stock. And then cleaning the back end of it. Um, we went with LEDs on the, the black one for the brake and turn signal lights. Okay. On his, we went with sports Oh, yeah, I see him off the side there. Awesome. So, yeah, you know, our goal down at the XP shop is to build um, these bikes and make them, you know, do what people what they want, customize them any way that they want, but also to have a, a signature shop bike that we sell as well and that's what this 750 is this we call this the slap town racer so we have the build sheet ready to go we know exactly what parts are going to go on it and they can get, have that modification done very quickly okay. the paint is a custom paint job done by bit metal customs uh, so they're a local painter that we use for pretty much everything so it we looks keep, really we try good keep, thank you <laughs> thank you we keep it as local as possible you know so we're also supporting that as well i love that that's good, man. I like the saddles too. Or is it is it right to call it a saddle? I mean, I <laughs> saddle seat. Seat. Okay. Yeah. The that quilted leather. I'm a sucker for that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. So I don't know a whole lot about motorcycles, but I'm looking at a Kawasaki ZRX 1200R, right? From the badges. Okay. Is it fast? It'll do 95 in first gear. 95 in first gear? Geez, how many gears does it have? Five. Five? It's got 130 horsepower uh, and about 80 foot pound torque at the rear wheel. <laughs> you know, my first car had 130 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, it's not a beginner bike, by any means. I don't think I caught your name. Mari. Mar yeah, okay, I remember now. Sorry. Sweet bike, though. So I'll let you go ahead and get on out of here. Yeah, Thanks for bringing this out. I want to. There's a lot of beautiful classic bikes out here today. 
Pretty crazy bike. Is this one of yours? You no, know, I have the same sidecar that I'm putting on a bike right now, an Italian bike. But uh, this is actually the newest year old. You know the story of these? I have no idea. I'm not a motorcycle guy. I'm sorry. I'll tell you the story. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. Yeah, lay it on me. So, the stories vary a little bit, but okay. 1945 when the Nazis lost <laughs> and the Russians moved in, yeah. they, some people say they disassembled an entire BMW factory and took it back to Russia. So started, then they kind of like reverse engineered it? They, exactly. Okay. They started producing, these are called Urals, in yeah. 19, like by 1950, and they've been producing them ever since. I notice it's got these, these horizontally opposed yeah. engine Same, like I see, see on the... over there? Uh, the yeah, on yeah. The just like that one. It's a straight up copy. So about sometime in the, I think it was the 60s or the 70s, the Chinese, they took one of these back to China and they reverse engineered it, called Chang Jang. So okay. now we have the BMW original, uh -huh. we have the copy, and then they have the Chinese copy. <laughs> of the copy. copy. Yes, yeah, so there's three versions of this in the world. So they're still building this, and they've been, t just recently they've become much better bikes. They're really, really horrible quality. These are a I'm just looking at like some of the braking system that I'm going to have that in the mind. But I have, a, I have an old Ural sidecar and an old motor boots in there that are coming together. Okay, because with a sidecar you need another brake for that wheel too? You do, and there's no rules as to how it works. You okay. can make, build it any way you want to build it. So, you know, this has got a single pedal. Some people have, you know, brake pedal that runs the back wheel and the sidecar wheel. I'm going to set mine up with two pedals. Okay. That way I can play them like a, you know, player piano. You do a little. Uh, you could tap the right one, and it'll make a fast yeah, turn. Yeah. Or tap trying to think if there's like a term for that, like vector braking or something. I like that. <laughs> I'm gonna use that. Brake vectoring. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> I knew there was a term for it. <laughs> that masters all the way on the other side. It's right there. See it? You see it under that under that bracket, and then it just ran into you long line. Yeah. All the way to it. But it looks oh, to me. I mean, honestly, I can't tell you how much. So I've been through most of the bikes and took a look at some really cool motorcycles, trying to educate myself, trying to use the knowledge that's available to me. There's still so many cool cars here today that I have to go see them all because this is the back lot right here and you can see it's just jam-packed with cars. There was a Lamborghini Gallardo earlier, I hope that's still here because I need to see that. This is beautiful. Oh man, this Datsun right here. I don't think I've ever seen a cleaner Datsun. Is this yours? It is. Oh man, I love it. This is incredibly clean. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> Well, it, it helps that, that no one else has ever owned it but me. Did you buy it new? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Man, I, I wish I could keep my car looking this nice, and it's a 2011. Well, <laughs> it, it requires uh, a garage. And one thing I don't have. And the other have. thing that I do is most people use car covers. I found that if you go down to the Indian back down there on in Portland, yeah. that uh, they have silk reserve okay. parachutes out okay. there, like 150 bucks. So and about the same price you pay for a good quality yeah, car and, cover, and I, I, I right? have it hanging from the top of my ceiling, okay. like a tent, and I just drape it around this. Yeah, because the paint on this is just immaculate. Well, I give credit to Dwellington Auto Body for that because they have their technicians spend two years on it. Two years, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. What's your name? Sweet ride, Joe.
Joe, good to meet you, Joe. You too, what, what's going on here? Recording some video for my vlog. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a little confusing because it's, 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 it's like a, a point-and-shoot camera, but it records video it too. It video as well, yeah. Yeah, I need to get an actual camcorder. Yeah. Well, it won a uh, custom class at the uh, Shasta Roadster Show three weeks ago. And it deserved it, of course. It did. <laughs> I know this has got to be a labor of love right here. Yeah. It has a few things going for it. Original engine, transmission, rear end, one owner. Yeah, you don't you don't ever see something like that. No. <laughs> All right, well, my coffee ran out a couple of hours ago. I'm getting deaf. Well, thank you for bringing this out, Joe. Oh, you're welcome. Have a good day. Last time I was out, they parked a Ferrari and an Aston Martin and a uh, early Jaguar next to it. <laughs> <laughs> Good company to be in. Looking at this. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought that the Japanese car would become so popular? I don't know, but uh, you picked a good one to buy and hold. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Joe. All right, thank you. Of course, some BMWs out here looking good. But what I'm really interested in is this Ferrari. this Mopar performance in one place. So the Lamborghini Gallardo left while I wasn't looking. That's okay, because today was motorcycle day. But if you're the owner of the Gallardo, I'd like to see your car. <laughs> but look at all these Cougars. How, what, why, how? Why are there so many Mercuries out here? So I got the answer as to why all these Cougars are here. It's a West Coast Classic Cougar customer appreciation. And uh, I guess they just drive around its club, they get together, buy some parts, kind of a swap meet, drive around, cruise in kind of thing. So I know it's been, I think, at least a month since my last Cars and Coffee video. That's one of the big problems with my channel is right now, the frequency of content is too low. So I need to get out there more I need to start making more videos. The other main problem that I have is the quality of this camera. I know it's terrible at autofocusing. It's 720p. Um, what I really want to do is get something that's 1080p, 60 frames per second, at least, and something that autofocuses well. Get myself a nice external microphone. Um, but that's just going to be something that comes when I have the money for it. Third issue that I kind of see is the variety of content. Um, I know right now it's it's mostly cars and coffee and red door meat, but there are a couple of gaming videos, a few things that are a little odd, you know, don't really fit in. You know, a lot of people say that if you want to have a channel that people want to see, they want to see consistent content. Well, really, I go out to all these different car vids, but what it's really about is just I'm trying to make a video blog of my life, and sometimes it's not all cars. 
most of the time it is. But the number one thing is that I need to get out here more often. Last week I missed a Panos Esperante, which is one of my favorite cars, uh, just because they're so rare and I had a Hot Wheels one when I was a kid and I always thought it was the coolest looking car. So if you're the owner of the Panos, please get in touch with me. I'd love to see your car in person. I'm sorry that I missed it last week. Today I had a great time seeing a lot of really cool motorcycles here at Portland Cars and Coffee, our motorcycle day. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with more soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's immaculate. So, have you done anything under the hood? Oh, nice. Wow. Super BRZ. One thing I love about Red Door Meat is all the variety. We've got this Volkswagen van right here, which is absolutely perfect. Okay. <laughs> so it's a it's a, a, a replica, we'll call yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I put together whatever you want. Yeah. I love the color combination and the pinstripe.